Too few a times has a vintage watch of such exceptional condition and quality crossed my desk. The name Vacheron and Constantine is one that was always fated to appeal to my interests. Due to my Hellenic background, the name Constantine too closely resembled Constantinople to ignore. The brand's history dating all the way back to 1755 is one that's always piqued my interest. One trip to the boutique allows you to take a walk down memory lane revealing the Mason's fondness for its history itself. It's that very history that has always piqued my interest. You see, Vacheron understood things from early on. Dating all the way back to the early 19th century, the brand understood the importance of offering its geographical clientele the opportunity to purchase timepieces that were unique. It's that very strategy that would result in the brand's low production numbers to date. It's true. Coming across a Vacheron in most instances is objectively more rare than its big three counterparts. I am that same clientele they appealed back to some hundred years ago. And if you're like me, then the watch adorned on your wrist is an extension and expression of oneself. This particular watch exemplifies a number of techniques that Vacheron has come to known for in the early 20th century. From the enamel dial to applied pyramid hour markers, enamel signature, raised enamel minute track, snailed sub-second registry, solid 18 karat pink gold case, and beautifully finished manually wound movement. The watch honestly leaves nothing to be desired, but it does demand one thing from its user, simply to be wound every single morning. You see, coming across a case with the same dial configuration, hour marker layout, handset, movement, is very difficult. And to find one in such exceptional quality is indeed exceedingly rare. Some 80-90% of vintage Vacherons have been refinished in the past. I've theorized that this is partly attributable to the case's design and its inability to provide an adequate hermetic seal. Its enamel dial glistening in the right lighting is a marvel to look at. The rarity of a pink gold case doesn't hurt its value either. As with most manufacturers in the early 20th century, a predominant amount of the big three cases were in yellow gold. Therefore, finding a pink gold case is a difficult task to say the least. It's watches like these that put a smile on your face when you look down on your wrist as it allows you to step into a different time. With the sheer number of different manufacturing techniques, it leaves one wondering, does it get any better?